My youngest son is moving out next month. He has bought a house and that is a brand new house. So I wanted to make him a couple kits. One will be first aid, but the other is lights out. So I went to dollar store and I bought two of these long lasting candles, a buck a piece, I think. I have a bunch of them in the basement myself. And then I also got these battery operated candles, which are a little safer than having candles burning in your house unattended. And I got him Scripto so he could light those candles or the fireplace or his fire pit. And then of course, very important, that's right, three 400 lumens flashlights and it comes with the batteries, which is really nice. But talking about batteries, I also picked him up this from Sam's Club. It's nice, it has 12 AA, uh, eight AAA, four D batteries, two C batteries, and two nine volts. So just nice to keep on hand, gives him an assortment. But I also wanna pick up some lighters and I need to have an emergency radio. Pretty important for a lights out kit. Well, luckily last month I got contacted by Angela at Rotecas and she said, would you mind reviewing our HR 115 emergency radio? You know, great, I get to review it free of charge, make sure it's good for my son's lights out kit and it saves me money. So I've been testing it and I've had a lot of fun with this little radio. Let me show you. So it's very compact, it almost fits in the palm of my hand, and it has a lot of different functions. Now one of the important things for radio is keeping it charged, right? So when you need it, it works. And it is able to charge by USB, and this cord comes with it. And as long as you keep that up, when you have power, then this will be charged, but it also comes with a battery here. And I believe this is a lithium, is it, I'm trying to read it here, a BL5C maybe? Anyway, I looked up at Walmart and you can get three of these batteries for only $14.60. And I think that's the best thing for charging. Keep extra batteries. Much better than a lot of other choices. So let's put it back in here. Okay, now you'll see it also has a hand crank. Right? You know, I know these are really popular on emergency radios, but to be honest, I don't think much of them. I think they could easily break, and you sure wouldn't want to depend on this, but it does have it just in case. Put it back in here. And it also has on the top a solar panel, and you could keep it outside. And it even says in the instructions, though, it's very slow for charging. So this might work, but to me, your best bet is keep extra batteries or keep it charged with this. That's what I would depend on for my lights out kit. Now let me show you a little bit how it works. Okay, hopefully you can see this. So if we push this in, you wanna hold it a minute, and then it says it's waiting. Okay. The fourth. Visit Lowe's and make it and it's on FM. Valid through 7 8 US only. This is your mix. Good reception. For today's variety on mix. If you wanted to have AM. There it goes. I guess I wasn't hitting enough. Oh, I lost my AM channel. You can hear it a little bit. But it's there. We'll go outside and try some more. How much debt have you paid off? Again, some static, but much better. Okay, so I am picking up some shortwave. Let's see. Obviously something that I cannot understand. 
Here's another short wave. On the side here, you do have a light. Let's see. Okay, comes in handy. Then you have a, gives the SOS signal. Go one more. And you go deaf for the definitely emergency alert signal, which could come in really handy. Now, the other thing neat about this is it has a lot of other capabilities. So see on the side here, it can accept a micro card, um, a TD, I think it's called a card, which is really an ultra small SD card. And of course it has room for your earphones and to plug in your USB. It also is Bluetooth compatible. So you could sync it up with your phone and play music from your phone to this. And you could also, it is a uh, text reader, so you could do audiobooks on this for MP3 player um, or in your card itself. And it will even record. Um, it has an internal microphone. Uh, you could even record what's happening on a radio broadcast if you want to. It has an alarm clock built in, so it'll wake you up on time. I mean, it has a lot of different functions. However, as a lights out kit, probably not going to use most of those, right? You're going to use it, see what's going on with your radio. You might use the light. Hopefully you never have to use the SOS or that very loud siren, but it's there. And to me, these are your main features you're going to use with the radio. Now, it does not have NOAA weather band. They do have another model that has that if you're interested. Instead, this has the shortwave option. You know, but for the weather band, you very often get it on your other channels anyway, all the alerts, so I don't know how necessary that is. But if that is important to you, then this model radio is not for you. Now, this is only $39.99 and that includes shipping. It comes with a year warranty. Um, I've checked their customer service and people have given them very high marks. Uh, it's available on Amazon and I'll put a link here. All in all, I think it's a pretty good little emergency radio. Now, is this a radio I would use every day? No, I don't think so. Are there any negatives on the radio? Well, I talked about not having the NOAA band and the other thing would be it takes a little bit of time to get used to the manual. Um, I'm not the most technical person, but I figured it out in probably about 15 minutes. But since it has so many functions, um, there's a lot of key combinations you have to use to make things work. So somebody might find that frustrating. Personally, I went through and I um, auto-selected all the main channels so you can keep it so you can easily go through them. So I have that both for the AM and FM. And I just keep it on the FM band and I think that will be fine for him if he ever has a need for it. But I think it's pretty good value for the price. And it could fit also in your glove compartment in your car. It could even fit in your pocket, right? You know, this also, not just the emergency radio, but I think would be a great camping radio because of the light function too would come in handy. And if anything else happened while you were camping, probably that emergency siren might come in handy too. But wouldn't take up much space in your camping equipment and I think it would be a great addition. So this is Prepper Potpourri saying, I hope you have a lights out kit. And if you need a lights out radio, or a camping radio, you might want to consider the Reticus HR 115.